Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Robinson and today we are going to talk about the greatest common monomial factor also known as the greatest common factor or the GCF or GCMF greatest common factor, greatest common monomial factor. So let's begin with the vocabulary. Factor is a number or expression that evenly divides into another with no remainder. So there's nothing going to be left over. GCF, C GCF or GCMF is the greatest common monomial factor, or greatest, also known as the greatest common factor. That's the greatest number or expression that evenly divides each term in the given expression. Steps you should know. Find the GCF or GCMF. Step two, divide the polynomial by the monomial factor. The quotient is the other factor. Step three, express the polynomial as the indicated product of two factors. So here's an example of what we're saying. Find the greatest number and letter you can divide into 28a to the third, or a cubed, minus 49a to the second, or a squared. So we want to find the GCMF. So the first step, let's take a look at the number 28 and 49. Let's see what's the greatest number we can divide into both of them. Well, 7 looks like it comes to mind. So I can divide that in by 7. That would give me 7 times 4 for the 28 and 7 times 7 for the 49. Now I have to simplify the letters and expand them out. I have a to the third, which means three a's on this side, and I have a to the second, which are two a's on that side. So now what I want to do is I want to get the greatest number, which they both have in common. They both have a seven, so I'll put that over here, and I'll take out his seven, put that over there. Now, I also want to get the greatest amount of letters that they both have in common. Well, they both have in common the letter A, so I'm going to take an A from him, put it over here, and I'll take one A from him, put it over there. So far, I've taken one A, but I noticed that this guy has two A's left and he has one A left, so I'm trying to take out the greatest amount of letters from both of them so I can take out another A from this guy, and I can take out another A from this guy. So what ends up happening is all my A's are gone from the right side, but I'm left with one little A on the left side, as well as a number four, and I'm left with a number seven over here. So I have seven and two A's that I taken out from both of them. That was the greatest number, seven, and two A's was the greatest amount of letters that I could take out. So seven and two A's, I can rewrite that as seven A to the second power. So let me just get my exponent. Sorry, 7a to the second power. Okay. So that would be my GCMF or GCF. So now that I have my GCF, which was 7a squared. So, so I'm going to see what I have left on the left side. I have a 4 left, and I also have an a. In the middle of it, there's a minus sign. So let's grab that minus sign. On the right side, there's nothing left but just a 7. So let's grab him. 
I can put them inside the parenthesis. So this stuff that I put inside of the parenthesis is what was left. And so now I have what's left and I also have what I'm going to put on the outside is my GCMF, which was the 7a squared. Because when I multiply 7a squared times what was left, 4a minus 7, I'm going to come back to 28a to the third minus 49a to the second. So if you distribute, you'll see that. So I have 7a squared times 4a minus 7. That would be what's called factored form. And you'll learn more about that later on. But they asked us, what's the greatest, find the greatest number and letter you can divide. So the greatest number and letter that we can divide was our GCMF. And that was 2, 7a squared. So 7a squared would be our GCMF. And so that would be our answer. So our answer is 7a squared, and that is your GCMF. So here's a problem for you. First, check your understanding. Play it again if you need to. If you're still uncertain, play it from the beginning. And if you have questions, bring them in tomorrow, and we'll go over them. Here's a question for you. Find the greatest common monomial factor of... 6c to the third d minus 12c squared d squared plus 3cd. I notice there are two letters now, so you'll be looking for the biggest number that you can divide into them, as well as the common letters that they both have in common. So good luck on that one. Here's another problem that I think you'll find interesting about a rectangle. The area of a rectangle equals the length times width, if the length of this rectangle is 9 inches and the area is 36x minus 27y square inches, find the width in inches. Is it A, 4x minus 2y, B, 4x minus 3y, or C, 6x minus 2y, or D, 6x minus 3y? Well, we'll talk about that in class tomorrow, so I hope you got something out of this. So if you need to rewind the tape, please do so, and we'll talk about your questions that you may have. So again, this is Dr. Robinson. I thank you for watching. Good luck, and I'll see you on the next class. Bye-bye.